Well, this is uh, Sunday evening, August 3rd. Um, you can see we're a little out of dirt. We need to backfill. What that lean is, is the tires being set back a little bit. You can see the the design of the wall is to kind of run backwards a little bit to hold back the, the berm. Um, I think it's an inch or an inch and a half, something like that. So we needed to get to that height to make sure because you can see our form board here. This will be a footing like I said earlier today. And then uh, this is an eight foot board. And if we put this, hold on, if we put that on that form board, and then you can, of course it's going to be hard to tell at this angle, it's pretty all, but I know that looks a lot lower than that, but it's only about ten and a half inches, which is what we need for that, uh, for like the bond beam. So the bond beam will sit up there, and that will come up and make that level with that board. So what I'll do is I'll set this board down a little bit off the form and just kind of lean it against the wall and I'll step back over here and we'll take a look. So you can see that that 2 by 8 because this will be a framing wall in here you can see those tires and back to where the where it's cut there and over here and in there that's this is all going to be poured with concrete and then right over the center of those tires we'll have the sill for the for the two by framing wall so it'll run up about uh, kind of where that uh, bobcat tire is right there so straight up there you'll see you know that two by eight will come up and then the the uh, bond beam will run all the way around, but embedded in that bond beam will be steel I-beams running across this span. And we're staggering, we're creating the slope of the roof with the actual tires and the bond beam so that when those I-beams come across then we'll have the, the natural the slope of the roof for the runoff back at the back. So that's uh, so tomorrow, uh, Michael, we found a part, uh, I think in Grand Forks. So they're going to run over tomorrow to get the new hubs for the tractor, used hubs, but new to us, so that we can backfill that wall and then hopefully get this footing and slab poured so that we can uh, get this wall up, or at least a portion of it, and then we can start, uh, well, while they're going running around getting those parts, uh, we will build this wall up to the matching height of that wall. So you can see we got a little bit of ways to go. We're about, we've got uh, those top row still need to be packed, but uh, we're coming around. We'll get, let's see, two... It looks like once we get those packed and out and around, we'll only have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. About 20 tires. Once we get these packed, uh, we'll have uh, 20 additional tires to get that built up. So we should be able to get that done tomorrow. And uh, then we can... Think about getting started on that bond beam, or hopefully get the backfill. We'll have to need more dirt. So that's where we're at. Again, Sunday, August 3rd, and now we're going to start cooking hamburgers.